In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to protect a GitHub branch in just five minutes. This is an essential skill for any developer who wants to maintain the integrity of their code base by controlling who can push changes to the repository's branches. So let's dive in and secure your branches step by step. First, you'll need to head over to GitHub, open your web browser and type in the GitHub website URL, or simply click on the GitHub link if you have it bookmarked. Once the page loads, the next step is to sign in. Look for the sign in button at the top right corner of the page and click it. You'll need to use your credentials, your username or email, and your password to log into your GitHub account. After you've successfully signed in, you'll be directed to your GitHub dashboard. This is the main hub where you can see all your repositories and related activities. From here, choose the repository where you want to implement branch protection rules. It's usually listed on your main dashboard under your repositories section, but you can also find it by using the search function if it doesn't immediately appear. Once you've selected the repository, look to the right side of your screen and click on the settings tab. This will open up a new page with a sidebar full of options. You'll want to scroll down to the branches section, but don't worry, it's quite easy to find. Now that you're in the branches settings, you'll see an option labeled branch protection rules. There will be a button somewhere around there called add rule. However, our focus here is the classic branch protection. So go ahead and click on the button that says add classic branch protection rule. This might be called something slightly different depending on updates to the interface, but look for anything related to branch protection. As you click this button, it'll open up a form where you can specifically define rules for the branch you want to protect. Here, you can specify the branch by name or pattern. This is also where you set permission levels. For instance, you can require reviews before a pull request can be merged, enforce stricter status checks, or restrict who can push directly to a branch. Take a moment to review and configure each option according to your project's needs. Once you've customized these settings to your preference, save the changes. Remember, you can always come back and adjust the settings as your project evolves. Well done. You've now learned how to protect a branch on GitHub, ensuring that your code's integrity is maintained. Thanks for watching and as always, happy coding.